in this series of matrix plot this is going to be the second video which is for cluster maps so here we will learn about cluster maps hello everyone welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you're done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon all right so cluster map before we start i would like to suggest you if you don't have a statistical background then this is not going to be of more use for you right I'm not trying to discourage you, but it's just I'm trying to specify its uses, right? Mostly it is used in clustering, clustering and cluster analysis, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and see what does its official website gives uh, the definition. It says plots of matrix, cluster map plots a matrix data set as a hierarchical clustered heat map, right? Like you can see, it, was, it also works on matrix data set, uh, which we discussed in our previous video on heat map if, if you have not seen that yet just click the link showing right over here and then come back over here and learn the cluster map that will be more easy for you by default uh, not exactly by default uh, as per official website of seaborn cluster map accepts all these arguments out of this we will learn or understand all those which are most frequently used and are most important i can say rather right let's move ahead and see it with an example here as usual i have imported all the required uh, libraries these all are not ex all of this the many which i have imported over here all of them are not going to be required these three are enough right then here i am importing the data frame mart data mart data which i have in excel i'll be providing you the link and you can download this data using that link from github and here i'm just creating a pivot on this data for to see the sales performance by outlet size and outlet year now more let's move ahead and try to create the cluster map right so for that you just need to say sms dot cluster map and in that all that you need to do is just provide the mart data which is mart p and let's run this so if you have seen my heat map video the, you must have seen that over there we were getting just this area though the sequence is different but it was the same chart right more or less the chart was same so here what what is the difference that we have here we have the clusters of columns and cluster of rows if you can see over here one thing if you notice here look at this year the years are not in sequence if you see over here it is 1999 and then you have 97 and then you have 87 these are not in sequence why is that so because cluster map clusters creates a uh, creates or groups a uh, groups those identical those columns which have very identical values so here the sales in 99 and 97 was very identical that's why these two are in same cluster right then again after 97 uh, in the next cluster 9, uh, 87 and 2004 were having more identical sales that's why these are in same cluster and so on so this is the main functionality of this cluster map right and uh, uh, this cluster map creates the cluster basis on rows and column however if you want you can just specify it what sort of cluster you want to sell for example i don't want to say the cluster on column label so column cluster i can say false right and the column cluster will be gone like you can see we don't have any clustering on column we have the clustering on rows only right same in the same fashion if you want you can say it like i want to see the column cluster but i don't want to see the row cluster all right and then let's see over here now you can see the row clustering is gone the only clustering which you have is column clustering right and now if you notice these years these are arranged because clustering is on columns only not on the rows so the columns which have identical values similar values are kept together right but not the rows so that's why you don't see any unsequential row over here these all are in a sequence right <clears throat> sorry for this now moving forward the 
all the features which we had used in heat map that you can also try over here for example if you want to annotate then you can say anode equals to true then annotation will be available this thing we saw how to fix this thing which is just we have to say how many decimal points do we want to see so zero decimal point we want to see f represents to float so it will always be suffixed now here you have the values further formatting so you can take reference from the heat map if you have not seen that i strongly recommend you to go ahead and see that all the formattings which we tried over there more or less all of them can be applied over here i would strongly recommend you to see that and try over here now here you can also change the z score what z score is if you don't know the statistics it won't be easy to understand right but it usually range between zero and one so here let's keep it one let's see what happens so if you see the values are changing as per the z score i can't explain more than this because this is this has to do with statistics and not with this plotting same thing you can either you can make it zero or one so i just showed you with one same thing you can uh, try on standard scaling you can try to scale it and uh, scaling you can say zero and let's see what happens so when you do this scaling zero then it changes like this all right now again i uh, i would say if you don't know the statistics it won't be easy to understand so just follow the uh, follow the tutorial to understand how you can make these changes over here in a standard scaling and all right after that if you want to change the line color first let's say line width which i'm going to keep zero sorry let's say 0.5 i'll keep the line width sorry it is not 0.5 so if you see line line is created over here so this is how you can play around a uh, cluster map i hope it uh, it was useful to you just in case if you have any doubt or if you want to understand any other parameters or any other argument feel free to put that into the comment section we'll definitely try to get back to you thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck